I want to say first of all, like I get the so you mentioned Connor mentioned this guy that's talking about he's a monarchist, whatever. I mean, I could say that's a problem for both sides. Like if I, I the other day I was arguing with some dude and he was a utopian socialist and just believed that by becoming a socialist we live into a post society. Uh, he was <laughs> like, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that was a good one. And uh, but yeah, so like obviously that you have some wild outlandish ones that just like they're not even real. Like these people don't count. And then to lump them in and say, oh, conservatives don't have a like unified like viewpoint as a whole as a party, right? I would say that's un unequivocally not true, right? The Republicans especially, there's an identity now, right? The identity is you're either and there's you have basically three factions. You got religious conservatives, we got the old some old school neocons, uh, that are like the, we have the Bush Cheney neocons, we have a few holdouts that are regular ones, and then we got the Trumpers, right? That's the basic gist of the Republican Party. We can probably break it down further. But basically at this point, anybody that's not voting for Trump, like in this is basically voting for a Democratic plan, right? That's kind of how it's working, right? There is a unified viewpoint within the conservative party, within the Republicans. Hey, there are things that are inherently oppositional to us, right? Another point here I got. Conservatives do network, right? And I, I do agree. We don't do as much in academia. However, the old boys club is a thing. That's been a thing that the liberals have been fighting against forever. They don't like nepotism. They don't like this idea that people network outside. Like, I mean, for example, the Texas A&M is the Associate of Former Students. I could go to join the club here in San Antonio right now and get business opportunities. In fact, I do go to some of them sometimes just to like meet people, network. That's a very big networking thing. They just don't do it in college, right? So, you know, it, another issue is the biggest issue Repub uh, Republicans in general have is branding. Because anytime you want to sit here and say, oh, I'm an actual conservative and say these viewpoints, we have like fake like Republicans come in or we have uh, liberals come in and they try to vilify your beliefs and try to paint you in the light that you're uh, what, a constitutional monarchist or you're a, uh, a Richard Spencer or you're Nick Fuentes and immediately just go to the furthest extreme and say that's the status quo for Republicanism, which is bullshit. But moving on, I do want to cover something that Fairy Queen said, which surprise, surprise, the South Carolina person is suddenly championing conservative libertarian values again. Letters of recommendation are good. You should get them from as many people. And reading the opposite point of view is good. In fact, I mean, some of the biggest, most influential works, uh, I would say are considered conservative works. I mean, how often do Republicans point to things like 1984 and say, look, this is what the left is becoming. This is what you're getting. Okay, so so hold on. This I know that we're sidetracking off of academia, but I, I think this is actually something that needs to be resolved. So you're I think you're right in saying that fifty-five percent of the Republican Party as it presently exists is coherent around Trump, MAGA, etc. However, sure. if you go oh, back that. to the concept of Republicanism, balance of power, all that kind of stuff, the truth is that a lot of the people who founded this country, a lot of people who considered themselves Republicans in the 19th century, they would hate Trump. They would see him as like a, a populist buffoon who was co-opting and skinning their fucking ideology and then wearing it like a mask like Hannibal fucking Lecter and you know, walking out of the building, parading around. So the fact that you're like, oh, well, this is the real Republican Party, the same level of vitriol that you have for my level of like criticisms of the MAGA movement is the same level of disgust and vitriol that I return back. Because when I look at like Nixon, or if I look at uh, Teddy Roosevelt, or if I look at Abraham Lincoln, or if I look at, you know, the founders of this nation, I don't see anything to do with trump so as a result this is alien to me well, i don't like it and on top of that i think it's a random collection of policy positions i don't see trump as like a coherent narrative it's uh what secure the border like geopolitical isolationism if you don't kick in your fair share we're gonna buddy you on the world stage also you have to pretend that i'm the greatest person since julius caesar or else you're my political enemy I mean, that's the coherence of Oh, and by the way, hold on one more, one more point. No, I did not it, describe it, it, Teddy it, it, Roosevelt it, 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 at all. Those, get the fuck all out of those, here, Teddy Roosevelt. Get the fuck out of here. All, all of those, he was an isolationist. He wanted a stronger border. He wasn't he an isolationist. Get, he, he came up with the. Was. He and came he up with what no, he wasn't. He those. oversaw the Boxer Rebellion in China, and on top of that, he had the Pan American policy. No, that's cope like a mother. Anyways, finally, finally, that was cope like a mother. But also the the point being that like you're saying that these fucking schizos like don't have that big of an impact and we shouldn't care about the sargons of the world because they just have like a few hundred thousand subs on YouTube. Tim Pool is probably one of the second or third largest alternative media pundits on the 
fucking planet and he's jerking his dick raw for the past half decade about how Americans are going to be in the street murdering each other over modern American politics. And you're supposed to tell me, and by the way, he doesn't even say that he's a Republican. I'm not a Republican, guys. I'm a liberal. I like marijuana and I like abortion. Please trust me. But turns out that everything Trump says is absolutely correct. And Republicans are going to have to murder all the Democrats in order to restore this country to its fantastic foundations. Wow. What an amazing Republican. I'm sure the founding fathers and Abraham Lincoln and Richard Nixon and Teddy Roosevelt would be on their f knees blowing Tim Pool. Get the f out of here saying that these people aren't schizo and they're not relevant.